Well, let's continue what we started yesterday out of the writings of Paul, the practical writings of Paul the Apostle to the Romans when he tells them to act out their faith. Let's go to verse number 10 in chapter 12. Look how short these sentences are, but how powerful. Watch this. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love. Isn't that just loaded up? Be kindly affectionate. He didn't just say be affectionate or be kind. He said kindly affectionate. Show affection not out of obligation. Don't do things just to be nice. But the Holy Spirit within you is able to make you do it with kindness. And do it to one another with brotherly love. I don't really know how you could put more into that than is there. To be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love. Now, I have a brother... One brother, Dennis. Dennis is the guy that directs the choir and kind of trounces around on the stage and gets all excited and waggles. And that's my brother. We grew up together. We came from the same parents. Do you know sometimes we'll come to church and we have on the same tie? Or we'll show up at the golf course in the same outfit? It's just something because our parents are the same parents that's in us. They passed a lot of things down to us. They taught us to love one another. They didn't have to teach it a great deal. We were brothers, and it's just there. And as much as I love him because he's blood kin, there's a greater love than blood kin love. Did you know that? If you were to come to this church, and I know many of you do, many of you are just observing on the screen there. You, you watch us from day to day. But if you were to come to this church and see this congregation in full force, in worship mode, do you know what you would see? And I'm, before I tell you, I am astounded every time I get together in this church. It moves me to tears. You would see young and old hugging. You would see rich and poor talking. You would see uh, different skin colors, all different tints and hues of color. Having fellowship, inviting each other over to this, that, or the other. One of the, f the strongest things that happens in this church is the fellowship of it. We just had to all but run some people out a while ago so I could do this. People hang around. They're outside right now uh, just talking because there's something about brotherly love. You feel affection, but you feel a bond, and that comes through knowing Jesus Christ. You see, all of us believers have the same parents. And what our parent is, we are too. Paul is simply saying, let it go, release it. Quit being defensive. Quit trying to hide yourself. Just open up and be kind and affectionate and show brotherly love. But then he goes on to say, in honor, giving preference to one another. Giving preference. Can you ponder that with me for a moment? Think about your brother, your sister. Or at home there, your wife, your husband, your children, your parents. Think about it. Give them honor. Prefer them. What can I do to honor this person? How, how kind and considerate can I be to this person? Nothing in your flesh wants to do that. Your flesh wants the preference. Everything about God says... Prefer your brother. He did it when he sent his son Jesus. Jesus did it as he walked through the Middle East, or I should say the Holy Land. He was always preferring the disciples. He was feeding people who couldn't feed themselves, and he was healing people who were hopelessly sick. And then 
He got down on his knees and he preferred his brothers by washing their feet. Think about that. Jesus said, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If I, your Lord and Master, have done this for you, you ought also to do it for one another. And then he said, you'll be happy if you do these things. So while love costs, love has a great dividend. Even though it's a sacrifice at times to prefer somebody else, push somebody ahead of you, what comes back my, is inestimable. You can't count it. And that's the way God set up his kingdom. That when we put into it by faith and love, we receive from him that which cannot be numbered. You want a better day? Prefer somebody else. You want a better outlook right now? Then do something with kind affection for somebody else. I guarantee it. I promise it. This whole day will be changed. Your mind, your heart, your outlook will be changed today. If you'll just do those tiny, simple things that the scriptures slip right under the rug there. Be blessed. I'll talk to you again.